Is your battery running down in like five seconds? Do you want to know how to stop this? Are you sure you want to know how to stop this? Are you sure? Well then watch this video. It's going to be ways how to help your battery life. Let's get started. The first thing, you don't want to have your brightness way up. You want to have it at a comfortable level to where your eyes are comfortable and then it helps your battery life as well because you don't want the brightness to be sucking up the battery life, do you? Now the next thing you want to have is airport and Bluetooth. You don't want these on when you're not using them. Airport basically gives you wireless connection. If you're not running on the internet on wireless connection, why have it on? Because then from there it just sucks battery life out of it. Also Bluetooth. Bluetooth is how you share device, share files between devices such as other Macs and other phones. And if this is running, then it can definitely suck the battery life because it's always searching for those other devices, so you don't want to have that running. Also, you don't want to have extra apps running in the background. For example, I have iMovie and GitTube running right now, and I'm not using them. So, I'm just going to go ahead and quit those. Quit GitTube and quit iMovie. Alright, so clean and simple. Now I'm kind of helping uh, my battery life a little bit. Those are three great ways. Brightness and volume, airport and Bluetooth, and extra apps running in the background. Don't forget those. Also, how am I going to keep track of my battery, the health, the cycles, things like that? Well, this app, this widget called iStat Nano, it keeps uh, track of it, pretty much everything about your uh, Mac, um, you know, technical wise, and it has the battery. All right, cycles are at how many times this Mac has been fully charged, and in about a year, it's been charged about 551 times. Now, that being said, the health has went down to about 93 percent, and the more cycles you have, the more, um, the more the battery goes down. That being said, you don't want to be uh, charging your battery up every day full charge for two days you know don't want to keep it on the charger things of that nature because it just ruins the health of the battery don't want that to happen and also every month or so you do want to calibrate your battery what does that mean um, in my regards what that means it just means I'm gonna run down my battery life to about one minute then I'm gonna charge it up while it's off alright once it gets fully charged I'm gonna take it off the charger let it sit through the night and then the next day I start using it again the battery life should be rejuvenated you should see uh, probably hopefully about an hour or 50 minutes or so added to the battery life and that should be great with my Mac now after after a while I get a good two hours and 30 minutes I think or so of battery life and it kind of varies uh, one day I might get three hours one day I might get two and a half so kind of varies but as you see um, it just happens over time now if you're not suitable with your battery let's say you get your Mac in the first year the first year of buying your Mac you also get that one year free uh, warranty status kind of deal Apple care and if you see that the battery health has uh, battery health has diminished in that one year you can get a free one that's pretty nice about Apple but if it's after that one year and you go ahead and extend your Apple care which I highly recommend uh, then they don't cover the battery uh, and all batteries for pretty much all older models that are uh, replaceable, uh, they run for about $129 off the Apple website. And it's worth it. I mean, without the battery, the Mac can't run, right? Uh, so you definitely want to have a battery. Um, but those are just quick tips. I hope I didn't fly through those. I'll go ahead and recover them real fast. you got brightness and volume, airport and Bluetooth, and extra apps running in the background. I want to kill those three things uh, if you're not using them. Also, how to keep track, iStat Nano. You can download that widget off to the side over there or over there one of those um, what are cycles how many times your battery's been fully charged calibration run the battery down charge it up let it sit have fun also if you're looking for a new battery and you're within one year of your free warranty status go ahead and go to the Apple store tell them to change it out if not and you get you ex extended your Apple care then go ahead and buy a new one for 129 bucks and I'm pretty sure you can go to Amazon or Mac Mall and find something for cheaper uh, this is Scooter Macintosh Tips. Don't want to make this long, but I do want to make this helpful. If you have any more questions, let me know and check, click that annotation right there to figure out how long you have on your Apple Care status. Peace.